Hey, Kat here, and I'm here to do uh, my October wrap-up. So, yeah. Not October, September. As well as my um, October TBR. So, yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> so, um, I didn't read that much in September. Well, I did read a lot, but I didn't read all the stuff I wanted to read, because I had a huge TBR. But then I got into Hannibal. So, instead of reading everything I had planned for the month of September, I read a shit ton of fan fiction. And I don't mean, like, slash fiction, though, but don't get me wrong, there is a crap ton of slash fiction involved in my fan fiction. But, um, it was, like, episodes of the show and stuff. I'm pretty sure I read over a thousand pages worth of fan fiction this month. I was that obsessed. I was so obsessed with the fan fiction and stuff. I I stopped watching the show, which now I'm getting back into, which is now making me want to read more fan fiction. It's an endless cycle, guys. An endless cycle. But I still ended up reading seven books. One of them's a short story, and quite a bit of them are comic books. So I went to children's books. So. So the first book I read was Superior by Jessica Lack, and this is a little short story about these two guys who uh, are sidekicks. One sidekick to a villain, the other a sidekick to a superhero, and it's about how they meet and eventually become friends and then have a road to being something a little more. And it was cute. It was only like 56 pages or something, and it was adorable for what it was. I wasn't expecting much because it is a short story, but it was it was cute. It was cute. It was cute. I liked it. I liked the main character a lot because that's exactly how I'd be in this situation. Like, oh, I'm tired of being kidnapped. The fuck. That's exactly how I would be. And then I would see the hot villain guy or whatever, and I'll be like, what's up? <laughs> the next book I read, oh, two books. It was two books of one, and that is Cordelia's Honor, which oh my god, I love this. Book. It was amazing. It got me into the whole series, and then I bought the whole series because I have an impulse. Not impulse. I don't know. I just needed the whole series after I read this book, but I completely enjoyed this book. And this is about a girl named Cordelia who gets stranded on this one planet and has to survive with um, a race that is her enemy. And eventually they fall in love, blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. But the second book is when they're married, her and the, her husband, the, the evil guy. Well, he's, he wasn't evil, but blah, blah, blah. You, you, it's your basic love story, Romeo and Juliet. Okay, we got it. We got it. We read it. We've seen it. Leonardo DiCaprio's good. Okay. <laughs> but, um, the second book follows her as she's trying to protect her son's life, her planet's life, as well as her family. And so, like, her extended family as well. And I completely adore Cordelia. She is an amazing person. And I can't wait to read about her son, which is in Young Miles. His, her son's name is Miles, and the, uh, the rest of the series actually follows his uh, storyline. So, I'm excited! <laughs> the book I read after that was um, Smuggler's Run by Greg Recker. Recker. And I did find out what else he's written. He wrote the Lazarus series, which I really, really enjoy, and you guys should read that one, too. And it's a comic book series. But, um, uh, Smuggler's One was fun! It reminded me of, like, an episode of a TV show. It was really fast-paced, and, like, you, you really felt what was going on, and the action was well-paced. Oh, no, it was pretty good for such a short little story. So, I think I gave this... Uh, let's see. I gave it four stars. And basically, this book follows Han, Han Solo and Ch Ch Chewbacca, and they're fighting. Find this. Find her. But, um, this takes place between A New Hope and Empire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Almost forgot that would have been embarrassing. And, yeah, it has Leia. Leia and her, him are being snarky in the beginning, and then it kind of goes into his own storyline. And, yeah, it was cute. I liked it. I recommend. Yay. The next book I read was Halalic Volume 8, and this just is a continuation from Volume 7, where, uh, I guess minor spoiler, but uh, Wadnuki lost his eye, and he wants his eye back. 
kind of a weird thing to think about, but it's like really intense in the manga. But like outside of it, it's like, nah, you just lost your eye, man. Get over it. But in the manga, it's like, yeah, you can totally get your eye back. <laughs> like, why? Are, why? Why? Why don't you have your eye? I don't know. It's intense. I gave this one four stars. The next one I read was Alex and Ada. Well, Alex plus Ada. And this follows a guy named Alex who his grandmother sends him a robot as a girlfriend slash companion in his life. And he, he like spends time with her. He almost thinks about taking her back because she's a robot. And he didn't really want her to begin with, but then he decides to hang out with her some, but then she, she's a, she's just kind of a servant and he didn't want that. So he decides to unlock her, um, AI so she can develop on her own. And that is the beginning of the series. So, um, I, it was okay. I don't know. I gave it three stars. It kind of didn't really bring anything new to the science fiction comic genre and uh the characters didn't really feel that realistic nor did i feel sorry for anybody um i don't know i don't know it wasn't my cup of tea but i get get three stars it reminds me a lot of irobot um i don't know i don't know <laughs> and then the next book i read was batgirl volume one batgirl of burnside and this is the new Batgirl series outside of the New 52 because of the Convergence uh, War or something. I forgot what they called it. But uh, I didn't like this. Um, it This Batgirl is Barbara Gordon. There's been like four. Barbara, Cassandra, Stephanie. I feel like I'm missing one. Okay, I guess there was only three. But um, this follows back to Barbara, and I don't know, it starts off with her in college, which I thought she graduated from college because she did her whole Birds of Prey, which is still canon, and then it started with Gail Simone's Batgirl, which is also still canon, and I don't understand why she's back in college doing a thesis and war getting drunk and doing all this other stuff because she's way past this point. Like, it just, I don't know, of all the things Barbara Gordon is being going off the deep end isn't one of them she's never really been that way so i didn't really like that this is she reminded me this back girl well this barbara gordon's comic reminded me more of stephanie brown and if you're just gonna write barbara gordon as stephanie brown bring back stephanie brown i don't know i i i gave it i still i think i gave it two stars um it is a good point to start if you haven't read any batgirl I mean, she's funny, she's cute, the artwork's nice. I can understand why people really like this and why people they recommend people start on this comic, but personally, I didn't like it. I think you should read other Batgirl comics, like re Birds of Prey. <laughs> Though that isn't, she's not Batgirl in that, she's Oracle, but that's when I love Barbara Gordon the most is when she's Oracle, so yeah. And the last book, but my personal favorite book of this month is Valor's Choice by Tanya Hopp. I finally finished it, guys. I finished it. And oh my god, did I freaking adore this book. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I loved the ending. The be well, the beginning was a bit slow. So, haha. -ha. I loved everything in this book, except... Favorite character freaking bites the dust. I'm not going to tell you my favorite character is because it's a spoiler and he may not be your favorite character. Spoiler alert, he's a he. But there's a lot of people who die in this book, so. It's like Game of Thrones, man. People are just dying everywhere. <laughs> so, but how come every time I like a character, they either become evil or they die? This has happened to me in Harry Potter, because I'm serious black. It happened to me in, like, I, I, I can't think right now because I'm so angry. But it happens to me in every single book I've ever read where my favorite character either becomes evil or dies or goes crazy and dies. <laughs> Ooh, ah, makes me so upset. But anyway, this book uh, follows Sage uh, Sergeant Sergeant what? Sergeant uh, Staff Sergeant Torn Carr and she um, is on a diplomatic like uh, treaty mission just guarding some dip, uh, um, 
ambassadors and stuff um, on this new planet that they're trying to alliance with. And um, it's this lizard-like race, and they're very uh, military-ish um, kind of, uh, what's the word, tribal. They're very tribal. And they're not very advanced for the rest of the world, but yet it would be really cool to have them on their side to take down the others, which are the big bads that you don't actually meet in this book. So, <laughs> though you do hear a lot about them. And it's about that, and then they're, uh, they're on the mission, and they're, sign they're going to sign the treaty when their plane, their spaceship gets blown up and crashes down. And it's about Staff Sergeant Carr and her team. Um, trying to survive while this indigenous, not in, yeah, this indi the indigenous people, well, species on the planet, try to kill them, <laughs> and there's only like thirty against I think it was three hundred at the end of the book or something, and it's about how they survive and what happens and what's the overall plan. Um, there is a plot twist in it. I kind of saw the plot twist, and you kind of figure out the plot twist halfway through. But, um, I can see how it'd be shocking. Either way, this is a fun little book, and I freaking adored it! Um, it's action-packed, filled with humor. It has a very diverse, uh, crew of characters from different alien species to, uh, queer to, like, older people to younger people. It's very, very diverse, and it has, like, the- I like how each species is very different from the other. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, I would recommend this a lot, but then again, it's a Tanya Huff book, and I am a fan of Tanya Huff. She's my girl. We'd be friends if I've ever met her and lived in Canada. Yeah, Canada. <laughs> but yeah, read this. Read it. Read it. Read it just for Hazel. Hazel's like one of the characters in this book freaking hilarious. He gets um really hurt and injured and he's still hitting on anything that moves. He's just like, hey, hey. The guy who gets injured with him, he's just like, can you not like hit on me? And Hazel's like, <laughs> I freaking love him. Anyway, I'm gonna get going because this video has gone on enough, uh, long enough, so choose.